Hello everybody. I am sitting in my car trying to get a little break and it sounds like a fire truck is going by so you're going to hear a little of that noise. But anyway, I'm bringing you this video because I had a little bit of an issue last week. I went dancing. I went to a girl, my girlfriend's birthday party and we went to a club and you know, pretty much there ain't too many clubs you can go dancing at around here. We decided so anyway, to dance and, you know, it was crowded. So we just found a spot, you know, it didn't matter. It was like almost center or something. So all of a sudden, you know, we noticed that this couple somehow was like, like traveling and not trying to travel. And you, you dancers know exactly what the hell I mean when somebody is dancing and they start in one spot, but then they travel all the way over here or either over there or in your spot or something like that. And you're not even spinning. You're not doing a traveling spin. You're not doing a traveling turn. You're not doing a damn calypso. You're not doing nothing. You just somehow dancing and you ending up in somebody else's spot. Well, that is exactly what happened to us. We're dancing and all of a sudden, you know, I'm like, oh, I got an elbow. You know, I'm like, okay, all right, then no big deal. No big deal. You know, A, it happens. Sometimes it happens. I brushed it off. So then all of a sudden, this guy's dancing with this girl, same people. And, you know, now he's in, you know, he took her into a turn and he took her all out wide and everything. And then bam, you know, now she didn't hit my husband. So he like, okay, you know, hey, he had, you know, he kind of like had to ease her back a little bit. And I was like, okay, cool. So then now, all of a sudden, this guy does a cha-cha-cha, and he didn't bump me with his booty. What the hell? How you dancing with your booty, man? I mean, like, boom. I mean, like, so I'm turning around. Down, down, down. And I'm like, what the hell going on? Would y'all believe, and I'm trying to be cool and not, not cuss, but I want to say something. These motherfuckers, they looked at us like we was the damn problem. And, you know, I'm looking like, you know, I, I didn't hit you. You hit me. And and that's what really burned the hell out of me. So this tale from the dance floor is to all you dancers, all you instructors. If you're an instructor and you're not teaching that imaginary square that we're all supposed to abide by, you know, then you're doing them a disservice because you got to teach these people. You know what? Yeah. Hey. Y'all can't be out there just all over the place and you knocking people all upside the head because people won't be as gracious and as kind as me and let shit roll. My problem because was I... was their attitude. It was a piss poor attitude that was not required, was not warranted, was not needed. It, it, it just didn't belong on the dance floor. So you kind of knew these people were new dancers because usually an experienced dancer if you hit somebody first thing you say oh you know what player my bad or i'm sorry or shoot oh i'm sorry you know something like that and it's like okay but it's like you know dang it, it, can you at least say excuse night, me i was a little pissed off because i didn't even want to dance then because the floor was very crowded and it was it was crowded with a lot of inexperienced dancers and you could kind of tell because they was knocking the hell out of other people too it wasn't just this couple and so it's like man you know come on I, it just it just made me not even want to dance and y'all ask me all the time ruby hey how come how come you don't go out dancing i i prefer to dance in the basement it's safe there I don't need combat pay. I, you know, I don't need that combat insurance where, you know, I, I, I didn't mess my clothes up. I got dents and bruises and, and everything all over my body. And, you know, this is a, a situation that happens more so than now, not. If you want to travel so, and it's safe for you to travel, then travel. travel. But you if it's like a hundred people on the dance floor and there's really no room for you to go, guess what? You can't go nowhere, bruh. You can't do it. I'm like, God, dog. I mean, that really pissed me off, y'all. I mean, see, it made me hot because, you know, because it's like you just going to force it and you're going to knock everybody out the way like damn bowling ball pins just for you to get your turn in. And that ain't cool because if it was somebody else, you might have got, mm, nah, you know, and we weren't just certain people you just don't want to be around. And y'all know for a fact I'm telling the truth. You go out there and you look and there's certain people like, no, nah, don't dance next to him because he's going to knock your hat off. No, nah, don't dance next to her because she's going to step on your toe. I done had my toe stepped on. I done had a dude kick me in my shins. He done tore up my stockings. I even had a dude break the nail off my big toe. Okay? Okay? I done had that stuff happen. So I'm not trying to do that now. I'm old. I'm going to try to do that now. So anyway, that's my Tales from the Dance Floor PSA today. It's like, y'all, use the square. Don't knock nobody hair off. Don't knock nobody upside the head. You know, don't, don't do that, y'all, because everybody ain't as nice as me. Sometimes. All right. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Bye.